Hello, this is a follow-up video to show an easier way to install the BTR timing wedge into a Godzilla VCT. This was shared with me from my good friend Roger Higgins from Innovate. Innovate is that really cool company in Australia that makes the individual throttle bodies for the Ford Godzilla and the Ford Coyote. Testo North America is the world's largest manufacturer of handheld test and measurement instrumentation and software for HVAC, food safety, farmer compliance, and combustion analysis. And you can check them out at testo.com. So, um, Roger, appreciate you reaching out and showing me that I've made it much more difficult than it needed to be if you're only installing a timing wedge and not making your own travel limiting VCT. So we'll start with uh, the BTR timing wedge. It comes in a nice package. I will open that up. So, Timing wedge, very nice, simple device. We'll take our same tool that we used in the last video, which I got at Harbor Freight, and we use that to control uh, or to hold the VCT unit while we are uh, working on it. Now, one thing that Roger shared is this is very easy. We just loosen the one fastener here that happens to be at the end of the spring, the return. Uh, mechanical return spring and to make it even easy it's the one that's closest to this mark that uh, aligns the timing sprocket with the camshaft and then we remo remove these other three wedges two of these are very short and easy to do this one um, goes through the spring uh, itself so we have to do a little bit extra to put that one back in so i just set this in the vise And again, with a slow controlled motion, we'll loosen all these because we don't want to strip these because these are a, a specialty Torx fastener. So the standard Torx fastener gets just a little loose. So this one here, we just want to loosen. We won't take it out. The other three we will take out. Again, just to make this easy, coming around the spring, use these to help me with that. Then, this is the easy part, we just rotate this, and then we can look in the VCT unit. And you'll see one cavity that looks a little bit different, and it normally has a, a numeral, and you can see two stops. So we just take the wedge, very simply, and we drop it in there. Then we slide this back and it's almost that easy. So we might need to use this just to align the two shorter screws. Sometimes it moves a little bit, sometimes it doesn't. So if it does, just take a screwdriver and put that in. I'll use this just to get this started. I don't want to do any tightening with this because again, I don't want to strip the two um, the fastener. So that's just to get it started there. And then because when we undo that spring, it actually goes inside so that you have to pull the spring out so you can get the screw and get the screw on the correct side of the spring, which is towards the center of the VCT. So we'll flip this over. And then take this screw from the bottom side. I just take this small screwdriver and I just slide it in there and I push that spring out. Okay, we're just going to flip this upside down and you can see that the spring is on the slid towards the inside of the VCT unit. We have to take a little screwdriver and pull that back so we can put the screw in. So let me put this in the vise. Push that spring out.
Get a couple threads started. Take our handy. And again, don't don't let it click. Don't let it get you know too tight in there. And then we flip it back over. And then we'll torque these. And again, as in the first video, I do not know the factory torque stock on these, but about 16 newton meters feels about right to me. So I already have the torque wrench set to that. And I'll just start to torque these ever so gradually. And that's it. It's that simple. So Roger, thank you very much for reaching out so I could show everybody a much easier way to do what I uh, did in the earlier video. So uh, hopefully that makes simplifies it for everybody. Get your Brian Tooley timing wedge and you have your travel, travel limiting VCT that goes along with that awesome truck Norris cam that on our development engine picked up about 102 horsepower. That's it. So please leave your comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.